Hi everyone, I'm Tom and today I'm going to show you how to use linked records in Airtable. A linked record lets you create a two-way relationship between records in different tables. It's a great way to associate two related pieces of data, like connecting project managers to all of the clients they work with. Once you've got a linked record in place, you can also add lookup fields, so you can see additional details from the record that you've linked. I'll show you how it all works step by step, so let's get started. Before you create a linked record, you'll need to have two tables within the same base. In our example, we'll be linking our project managers table with our clients table. Since they're both in the same tutorials base, we can do this with a linked record field type. To create a linked record, start by adding a new field. Then select this option that says link to another record. Choose the table that you want to link to. In our example, we'll choose the clients table. Airtable will then give you a couple of options, allow linking to multiple records and limit record selection to a view. If you check allow linking to multiple records, you can associate each record with multiple others. For example, this would allow you to associate a project manager with as many clients as you'd like. If your data should only support a one-to-one -one association, then you should turn this option off. Otherwise, you can leave it on. Clicking Limit Record Selection to a View will ensure that you can only choose records from a specified view in the linked table. Once you've set your options accordingly, create the field. You can always change them later. Now you can reference a record by just clicking on this linked field and selecting one of the options that come up. Once you've linked one record to another, you'll see the association in both tables. So we can see a clients field in our project manager table and a project manager field in our clients table. Note that if you change the names of these fields, they will not update in the other table. So if you change the name of your clients linked field to customers, the clients field in the project manager table will still be called clients. Just a little housekeeping tip. One of the most practical benefits of creating linked records is the ability to add lookup fields. Lookup fields let you display additional fields from your linked records. So instead of just seeing the name of the record, you can see any other attributes that you'd like to add. In our example, we'll add lookup fields for the client's email address and project type. To add a lookup field, add a new field and select lookup field or you can just click on the linked field and select add lookup. If you have multiple linked records in the table, you can choose which linked record you'd like to use. Then choose the field from the linked table that you'd like to include. We'll start with email. Then we'll add a project type in the same way. Note that lookup fields populate automatically and they can't be edited from here. You'll have to update the record in its original table instead. You can add as many lookup fields as you'd like to see all of your data in one place. This is also super handy if you're automating with Zapier or Make. If you're a no-code automation builder, linked records and lookup fields can be a vital feature to start using. With linked records, you can put all of the data an automation needs into a single table so you can gather all of it with just one trigger or one search step. For instance, we'll quickly put together a Zapier automation that runs every week to send an email to one of our project manager's clients. We'll use schedule as a trigger, so the automation runs every Monday at noon. Then we'll add an Airtable step to find our project manager's record. We'll search the full name field for Sarah Smith and test the action. Now that Zapier found this record, we can use every field in future steps. When we add a Gmail step, we can retrieve the client's email from Sarah Smith's project manager record. No need for an additional search step in Zapier. And if we ever need to update the client's email address, we don't need to manually update it in the project manager table. It will automatically happen once we update the clients table. 
Airtable is a great spreadsheet app for building no-code automations. Features like linked records make it easy to build and maintain efficient zaps and scenarios in Make. If you've enjoyed this video, like and subscribe for more automation tips every single week. If you'd like to learn more about low-code and no-code automation, follow us on LinkedIn, Twitter, or Facebook, and you can find all of our content on our website at xray.tech. You can check all those links in the description down below, and as always, don't forget, keep the flow.